Hi anyone who's watching this, I appreciate you. Today we're doing another month in review. Late as always, this time it's the K-drama's fault because I got sucked into a new one instead of finishing this early. Lol okay anyways, today's review features 3 sections, which means a new one has been added since January, so stay tuned to catch them all. I spent too much time on this as usual so I hope you enjoy, and don't forget to comment because me loves comments. I'm gonna stop talking now so we can get into it.
better place oh. So that I can see this in times Cause I love that you're living in good age and now Okay so February delivered, but let's move on to the top 23. If you're new here's a quick rundown. First off we have the category monthly fave, which represents songs I've been extra obsessed with during the month, regardless of when it was released. Followed by, what actually was, my most played songs of the month. Don't you wanna 
Time for the new segment that no one asked for, the drama feature, where I will be reviewing some shows or movies I've seen over the past month. Why? Because I can, and it's fun. I also happen to watch too much TV so here we go. We're starting this segment off with 3K dramas that I started in February. 2023 edition. Love to hate you. Total episodes. 10. I've watched. 10. Description. For an attorney who despises losing to men and an A-list actor who distrusts women. Love means nothing. That is, until they are forced to date each other. Y'all this was so good I don't even know how to explain it. I began watching this on the 20th and finished it on the 22nd. And that says a lot because I started watching like 6k dramas this month and this was the only one I finished. I have a habit of not finishing k-dramas okay don't judge me. First of all, I loved the female main lead in this one, Yomi Ran, because I don't feel like you often get to see these strong badass women in Korean shows, so we love that for a change. Also the fact that it felt more realistic romantic wise, I mean come on these grown adults ain't gonna wait 2 years to hold hands. I know a lot of people love that K-dramas are so slow with their romance, and I'm not saying they have to have a sex scene in the first episode, but let's keep it real shall we? I'm getting tired of the awkward wide-eyed kisses, so this was a very nice breath of fresh air. I honestly think it was all great, the plot, the acting, the casting. Yeah sure it was a bit cringe at times, but they made it funny in a way so it was all durable. All in all, I would definitely recommend this one. Currently watching. Bulgazor, Immortal Souls. Total episodes. 16. I've watched. 12. Description. The story of a man turned immortal, Bulgazor, who wants revenge from a woman with a mysterious past and present, who he deems responsible for his immortality and miseries from the past 600 years, hoping to free himself from his curse. This is not a cute romance drama by any means, I would describe this as a fantasy thriller, but if you like that and wanna watch something more exciting I would recommend it. For the record, I hate horror, and even though this has scared me several times, it's still fine lol, I'm just very easily frightened, it definitely becomes less scary as it goes on though. I think it has quite an interesting plot, mostly focused on the current time but with a lot of throwbacks. It can become a bit slow at times, but most of the time it's fine, and then there are the times when it has you on the edge of your seat as all hell breaks loose, literally. Honestly, sometimes I need something different than the usual romance drama to switch things up, otherwise I get bored, and this has been perfect for that. I started this on the 1st, watched 6 episodes in 2 days, stopped watching, came back to it on the 24th, and watched 6 more episodes in the following 4 days. Love in Contract Total episodes. 16. I've watched. 13. Description. Full of talent and charm. Choi Sang Yoon is the living example of the perfect companion. It is precisely for this reason that instead of finding a husband, she has chosen to exploit her skills as a contract marriage manager. No but this definitely had me hooked. Like I know that I've binge watched several episodes in a row on more than one occasion. 
This has an above average plot, which means you can keep watching even if you don't love the actors slash characters. Overall it's good and I would recommend it, but I do find that it can be very frustrating at times though, and not in a good way. It's better in the start than towards the end. I feel like some shows really know how to spiral towards the end and sometimes that ruins everything for me. This isn't ruined but it has spiraled a bit now, which is probably why I haven't finished it yet despite only having 3 episodes left. It's on my to finish list for March though. I don't know my watch history for this because Vicky doesn't allow you to see that, but we resubscribed on the 4th so I could watch Boy's Planet, so anytime after that lol.